Hi, this is Loki from Beta Folders. I'd like to extend a big welcome to all the players who have joined Folded in the past few days on account of our coronavirus puzzle and the post about it on Reddit and uh, Popular Mechanics and so on. And I'd like to look at this control over clashing intro puzzle because we've had some reports that this has uh, turned out to be a little bit more difficult than uh, expected. And it seems like something has changed in here, but uh, there's a way that you can get around the uh, difficulty uh, pretty easily with a few bands. So let's open up the puzzle first of all. Okay, so once you open the puzzle, you'll see that it says you need 7,700 points to win, and you've got a, a big mess here. So you have all the spiky little red balls, and those represent the clashes. Those are points where two atoms are just too close together. And uh, you also have these bacteria-looking things. Those represent uh, exposed uh, hydrophobic side chains, and so you might want to do something about that. But it's a little bit hard to see what's going on here. Um, so just as a first step here, uh, when you're dealing with a situation like this, uh, the first thing you want to do is probably shake. And uh, if you look at the counter up here, shake does all its work in the first cycle on this counter. So we've got the little clock and then we've got the counter next to it. And so when the counter goes to two, okay, we can stop. So shake's done all it can at that point. Okay, so still still a big mess here. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is look at behavior. And I'm going to suggest that we put the wiggle power setting on low for, for the purposes of what we're doing here. So we set that to low. The next thing I want to do is come back to the actions menu and just wiggle everything. But I only want to wiggle a tiny amount. So it's really only going to be a second here. And I'm going to wiggle... And as soon as, okay, that's good. As soon as that protein starts to move, I'm going to stop it again. And I just use the uh, space bar. You can use the escape key, the space bar, click stop up here, click stop in the upper left. I'll stop your wiggle. And now I'm going to look at the uh, main feature I see in here where these three long sheets, these uh, zigzag lightning bolt things, and they're kind of next to each other and you can see this one up here has a couple of very weak looking hydrogen bonds to the next one so uh, the idea in a situation like this uh, you want to get those sheets to form hydrogen bonds at every uh, pleat and so we'll look at how to do that with some bands next and uh, before we do that I want to turn off some of this stuff because it's making it a little bit hard to see and we have some keyboard shortcuts to do that so if I go Shift-C, that turns off those clashes. A little bit easier to look at already. Then Shift-C again will turn them back on. Shift-C to turn them off. And then uh, Shift-X will turn off the exposed side chains. Uh, doesn't fix the exposed, but uh, does turn off the uh, bacteria-looking thing. And finally, uh, Shift-V will get rid of these red spears, which are voids. And those three are all toggles. So you can always toggle them back. And another thing we can do is Shift D, and that will hide at least some of the side chains. Shift D, yeah, it didn't didn't hide many of them, but there there are few less. And then Shift A will show all side chains again. So Shift D again to hide most of them. And and we can't hide the uh, side chains where there are exposed uh, hydrophobics or there are clashes, and that's a lot of them. So the next thing I want to do is Control w uh, and that's a little trick. That will show you the bondable atoms. And so you got the zigzag pattern on the sheets, and you want the zigs to go with the zags. And these uh, red atoms on one side of the sheet will bond to the blue atoms on the other side of the sheet. So we can zoom in here by dragging on the background, Shift-Drag, and we can see that reds and blues go together. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Shift drag upward. Then I'm going to start drawing bands. And again, there's nothing visible on screen here, but if I do shift click and drag, I get a band. I didn't make it quite all the way. Then I just drag the head of the band. Okay, shift click drag, shift click drag. And so I'm going parallel to these existing hydrogen bonds and I'm trying to 
imagine where the other hydrogen bonds should go. So there should be one in here too. So that kind of does that one. Next we're going to try this one. Shift click drag, shift click drag, shift click. Whoops. I pulled on it instead of shift click drag. Whoops, I've got an extra band up here, so I'm going to undo. Eh, see if I can find that band. Got rid of it. So you can always get rid of a band just by clicking on the, the band part. Shift click drag to replace that. Shift click drag, shift click drag, etc. etc. Okay. So that's probably going to be enough bands for what I'm trying to do here. So the next thing we want to do is go back to the behavior menu and uh, kind of follow the instructions. And let's lower this down to uh, not zero. 0 0.05. Let's start with that. And go back to the actions menu and we'll just wiggle. And looks bad right at the start because stuff starts moving around quite a bit. But with a little bit of luck, you'll notice that things are turning a little bit greener. We're starting to get some positive score up here now. And you'll notice that there are a lot of these nice hydrogen bonds forming between these three main sheets. And then, then we have some other stuff going on here, these other sheets out here. And you'd hope that they would bond to something, but we're not sure what right now. So we're just going to leave them floating around. And so back in the behavior menu, uh, once you've got a cycle or two of, of wiggle at the lowest power, you want to move that up a little bit. So if we just click on these arrows on the clashing importance slider, it'll raise it by about 0.05 each time. Sometimes you get a kind of double click and it goes up by 0.1 instead. Well, that, that's fine. That's not really a problem. And so, you, so even at 0.1 wiggle power, you can see we're up to nearly 5,200 points. So let's just keep going with this. And again, we'll just kind of watch the score here. And as long as the score keeps going up, we'll be happy. And I may time lapse this portion of the video a little bit. But uh, we're getting awful close to 7,000. And oh, I've moved it all the way up to 0.8, though. Clicked a little bit more than I meant to. Okay, well. Oop, went up to 0.9, still a little bit short, kind of not moving. Let's let's move it all up to, to 1.0. Okay, we're kind of done with that. So we've wiggled. Now let's shake again. We're still a little bit short of the target. And again, we'll give shake... You can see those side chains moving around, so it's doing something, and we're gaining a little bit of score. So we're done with the shake. So the next thing I'd like to do is remove all my bands. That will give stuff the ability to move around a little bit more freely. So let's wiggle again. And we're moving in the right direction, getting close. Getting very close. There we go. We're over 7,000. Over 7,700, excuse me. So that's that's way that you would uh, solve this one. I'm not sure if it's intended to be quite this difficult. And obviously, what we're left with here once we're done is kind of kind of bad because uh, these two smaller sheets, maybe they should be bonded to each other. Maybe they should be bonded to the uh, larger sheets. Don't know. They're just hanging off in space right now, and that, that's never a good thing. Let's stop our wiggle and uh, one last thing so we're at 7812 let's switch uh, wiggle power to high and wiggle again now sometimes this will just stall okay so let's remember our 7812 try another little maneuver here we'll just drag on the background backbone excuse me to uh, lose a little bit of score then we'll try one final wiggle here And we're back to 7812. So that's kind of the slow way to do this puzzle, but uh, it does get you through and it teaches some useful skills. Uh, you'll be abandoning uh, sheets to each other all the time as you go ahead and fold it. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and keep on folding.